Oh, hey, beautiful. How you doing? You look stunning, fabulous, amazing, gorgeous. Oh my God, thank you for being here today. Welcome to Hair Just Reacts. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or seen it before. Most likely you have, but welcome if you haven't. I haven't introduced myself in a long time. I'm gonna go for it today. Hi. I'm Brad Mondo and I am a hairstylist in New York City and I've been doing hair for many, many years since I was a baby. But I'm here to watch some people do some hair. I'm gonna give you my opinion on the situations and things people get themselves into. Today we're watching some professional hairstylists do some professional hair. They're gonna be doing really great, amazing color and I get so excited. So if you wanna see somebody get excited for about 25 minutes or 20 minutes straight, well, here's your video. <laughs> You're welcome. The hair color world and just hair in general, it's always changing so rapidly. We're seeing so many different amazing hairstyles come up in the industry and create the most amazing techniques. Thanks to social media, we can learn off each other. We have our classes right at the palm of our hands. We can learn all about different hair coloring techniques right on Instagram, right in front of us at any moment, at any time. Things get a little bit out of hand sometimes because people just take the trends and just run with them and just bring them as far out of context as possible. And I also find that really funny. So we're about to watch people do some amazing hair color transformations and sometimes it it gets a little weird, but I like it because I'm a little weird. <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> Our first video is by 10 Minute... 10 Minute Cakes, what the? It's a damn cake channel. Last time I checked, hair was not made out of flour and eggs and whatever else cakes are made out of and frosting. Call me crazy, but on what galaxy on earth are people making cake hair? Not this one. Um, this is called Haircut and Hair Color Transformation Compilation, the best hairstyle color ideas in 2019. <gasps> I don't know where that came from. All right, let's watch it. Oh, pretty. We're deep diving We're right into the first color here. We have an amazing, fabulous level six root. We have a bronzy midsection. We have very warm level eight blonde at the end. And I'm pretty sure what she's gonna do, I'm gonna guess, she's gonna try and make her platinum blonde. She's probably using like a lower developer on the roots, a higher one on the mids, and a higher one on the ends also. Uh, that way she gets one clean lift all the way down. That's what you are looking for here. To lift all those sections at the same time and get a perfectly clean, beautiful lift. This is exciting. Yes, yes. And are we leaving like that? What's going on here? Oh. Oh, we're doing a sunset. I love sunsets. I accidentally always make people have purple, orange, pink hair. I don't know what it is. My hands just, just like grab the pink and I do it. And then it's like grab the orange and I'm like, now grab the yellow. And I'm like, and I'm like, stop hurting me. And they're like, my hand's like, no, I want, I want the yellow on her hair. And I'm like, get the f I'm like, I don't want to color her hair pink. And it's like, no, do it. And I'm like, okay, fine. And that's pretty much my life. But I wasn't up making her be purple and yellow and pink and all these sunset colors. I don't know, okay? That's my explanation for it. Oh my God, that is beautiful. <laughs> the yellow on the ends really just kicks it into space for me. It's like, boop, right into space. Oh, don't want to show my pants. I'm wearing the same ones as yesterday. <laughs> Oh God, okay, only the top half, guys. Focus up here, boys. <laughs> Not down here, I know my ass looks good, but like, come on, focus up here. This is pretty, this is gorgeous. I love this sunset hair color. It's just fabulous. I love the ends, the way they're so beautifully yellow. They're like neon yellow. Oh, it just really pulls the entire look completely together. It's fabulous, I love it. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, ooh. We have a bunch of root moment going on. Um, We have, again, a little bronzy um blonde. Too. It just looks like her hair needs to be clarified. A lot of the times when hair turns is kind of like mucky, sandy yellow, it's because of all the pollution in the air. And believe me, I know a thing or two about blondes. <laughs> I know my hair gets all kind of like yellow and gross after, you know, about three weeks after I color my hair, it kind of turns into a little bit of a yellowy, sandy tone, which isn't like the worst. However, if you want to try and be like, boom, get out of my life, sandy, warm tones, you can do that by clarifying your hair. Grab some Malibu treatments, grab a shampoo that clarifies, use it once a week, or whenever you feel necessary and your hair will just boost up in vibrancy and you'll get rid of all those nasty crap that built up in your hair from the weather, from smoke in the air, from all pollution, all that stuff. It does build up in your hair. It's pretty gross. And if you're a smoker, you probably even have more nasty yellowness going on in your hair. You can combat it with some clarifying shampoo. That's a free tip for you today. You're welcome. Beautiful sectioning. 
oh, this guy is doing the blow dry kind of balayage technique where you, instead of backcombing, which backcombing gives you kind of a blurred highlight effect, he is actually blow drying all those broken baby hairs down. That way he doesn't end up highlighting those again and causing more breakage, which is such a great idea to keep hair healthy. Hairstyles are just innovating like healthy hair so much now. We really care about it more than ever um, with things like, you know, bond builders like Olaplex. Hairdressers are really caring about hair. Even five years ago, I feel like it just came really into market, taking care of hair um, and really caring for it. Let's see the after. <gasps> I mean, it's definitely silver. I liked it blonde. Is that bad? Is that bad? No, I think this is really pretty. However, I do wish it just wasn't so like pigmented. The reason why I don't like gray hair out, you guys, is a lot of the time I feel like people are trying to combat the yellow in their hair and they're just like, Boom! And like the yellow just fights back and it's like, no, I want to shine through to the surface. And then like you end up with a grayish weird yellow tint tone. This doesn't really have that, but blonde hair balances light very nicely and it creates, you know, a very beautiful glow on the hair. And then when you put, you know, a gray tone over blonde, it just kind of like depletes all the light gravitation and just makes the hair look so lifeless and dull. <sighs> And that's why I don't always love it, okay? It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not really my thing. To each their own, live your extra life, honey. Oh, yes, yes. This technique is absolutely stunning. This is giving me a little bit of anxiety though because literally I filmed my other video from this week yesterday where I did inverted hair color, which was really cool. It ended up turning out quite awesome. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's linked below for you. Definitely recommend checking it out because you know I spent six hours doing it and you know what? I want you to watch it. It's really hard not to mix the yellow tones with any other color because you know, yellow is the lightest color she's using in this. Um, uh, scenario and these horizontal lines you always get kind of a mixing of colors going on and it drives me nuts dude so it looks like she's going in with the darker colors first and then doing the yellow after no that's actually she's not doing that i don't know how she's getting these perfectly pigmented yellows here because i always have trouble with my yellows they always end up mixed with like purple and i'm like that's not what i wanted beautiful craftsmanship here and doing the most amazing horizontal colors and horizontal colors are such a sucker of time Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Unicorns everywhere are just like, yo. No, I do, I, I really enjoy this. I love the tones that she used because she has like this fuchsia and then she has this deep violet and she has this blues and greens and oranges and yellows and it's just like the most magical combination of sunshine and stars combined to make one beautiful galaxy called Unicorntopia, the galaxy of unicorns. make a book about unicorn topia maybe some other day oh look at that hair wow your hair's so healthy oh my god you guys you know what can help your hair look like that if it doesn't already look like that well i'm glad you asked my hair mask prismatic glow can get your hair to that level of shine and beautifulness and healthiness it's available at xmonohair.com link below thank you so much moving on okay so we're starting off with this quite nice head of hair she has some beautiful fine hair um thick fine hair and this guy is going in with a cap. Okay, cap highlighting has become a very big thing lately and I feel some type of way about it. I'm gonna be honest, cap highlighting scares the shit out of me. Mainly because I was cap highlighted as a kid and my dad would do it and then I would be like, well, why is there no highlight here or here or here? Because it's a damn cap highlight and you don't know where the hell you're taking hair out of or where from and it just becomes a total mess of hair. color -ness ing Yeah, so it just concerns me. And this girl has a lot of hair and I don't know what the hell's going on here. Oh, and he's cutting the thing. He's, he's doing a custom cap highlight. Oh, okay, sure. No, 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 we can do that. Again, live your extra life, guys. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself happy. This just seems wild. <gasps> In what galaxy on earth? Yes, queen. Oh my God, get it. Let's watch her do that again. She's like, yeah. oh, okay. That actually looks really pretty so far. It just seems like so much work to go through to get to this. Like as if you couldn't have just hand highlighted it the whole thing. Well, I guess he was using his hands technically. But why do we have to use the cap just to make it look cool? I'm onto these people. They do it for Instagram. I know they do. And I totally respect the hustle. I really do. I keep doing it. And it is fun to watch. It is, but I don't know, cap highlighting. Like do you think he's really breaking that cap out every time a client sits in their seat? Like. 
like imagine your clients like I want highlights and you just stick a cap on their head and you're like I got you girl now stay still <laughs> I just can't imagine. She looks great though. She's stunning. Oh, that hair, I wanna feel it. It looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, let's get those bangs. She's like <laughs> We're starting off again with a partially highlighted head with a lot of root going on and she looks so sad. She's like, I, I just want my hair done. Ooh, those are some big <laughs> scissors, dude. I need some of those choppers in my life. Okay, yeah, no, I feel that. No, I get that. Okay, so he's going in with a beautiful balayage technique with foils. I mean, at this point, I feel like 90% of people usually balayage with foils because you know what? Why not just lift the hair faster and more even? I used to use plastic all the time. I was gonna say like there is applications for it, but really you can always highlight with foils. You can always balayage with foils no matter what. Just lower your developer or higher developer if you wanna get less or more lift. I just feel like foils just make everything so much more even. You don't need to use as high of a developer when you're using foils because you have that incubation, that heat within the foils in order to lift the highlights beautifully even. So I like that this guy's doing, you know, foil highlights, but balayage style. Oh, and what a beautiful blend. Dude, I don't know what kind of sorcery they're using or they're doing to these girls' heads in like Dubai or whatever, but they are doing the most incredible hair colors in the Middle East. And it's like salons that are just filled with dudes, like all straight dudes. And they're all doing the most beautiful color I've ever seen. And I don't know what's going on there. Like something in the water, something's happening, and I don't know what it is, but I need to find out. Oh, she looks great. I love her hair. It's so pretty. Yes, you look good, sis. F it up, sis. Sis queen. Uh, S -s -s queen, sis, yes. Oh, hello, block coloring. This is a lot. This is like playground. <laughs> that was the first word that came to my head. This color blocking is absolutely magical. Her application is just like the sickest thing ever. All these colors are somehow not blending together. It is just so hard to make all these colors happen all at once and not get any like spotting or any kind of like annoyingness going on. I love the placement. I love that she did this like, little triangle cutout at the top of the head. Like who would have thought to do that? I just love people that are creative with color. It's just so cool to me because because sometimes like I don't really have the time to be like wildly creative and you know, it's just nice to see other people get ideas from them and to get inspired by other people. So super cool. I love that she put that blue piece at the top. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Ooh. This is gonna be awesome, I feel like. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yes, oh, get it. I love the way she did the pink in the front and then everything else is kind of like a peekaboo moment in the back. It's like, yeah, I'm super fun and I'm flirtatious and I'm cute in the front. But then in the back, it's like, I'm gonna you up and I'm gonna live my wild life. Beautiful application and the way the colors are so perfectly blended is just exquisite. It's fabulous, it's such a vibe. It's so fun. I spend so much of my life doing just highlights and doing single process colors, which is just like roots or like full on one color. And after that, after like several years of doing just that kind of color, I was so over it. And I went the completely other direction and was like, you know what, I love color. I want everything to be colorful all of a sudden. I was brainwashed to think that color was tacky in hair for so long, like rainbow colors and super bright colors was tacky. And maybe it is. And it's obviously super campy and it's not for everybody. But I think that if you're willing to do the whole rainbow thing. There's just something that just screams like confidence about it. Like if you can wear a rainbow head of color or if you can wear really bright colors, like you are confident, like you look dope and you know you look dope. Those were the videos from 10 Minute Cakes. I didn't see one cake in that whole video, so I'm a little confused on that one. But we're gonna move on and we're gonna watch a quick little video from a channel called Hair Addiction. And this is the top best long hair color transformation tutorials compilation 2019 best color for blah, 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 blah. We are working some kind of conditioner on the end really quick. Uh, I don't know what exactly is being, oh, wow. That's blue. That feeling when you just hit the hair perfectly with that first round of color, that really dark color over the blonde is just like, yes! It's so satisfying. Oh, and he combs the whole thing through, or she? Wow, that's a beautiful gradient of blue. <laughs> this is so pretty. That just gave me a super cool idea. What if you made hair go from like dark blue on this side and slowly it went down and back up and it turned into light blue on this side? That would be magical. In what galaxy on earth would that be appropriate? Ooh, a 
beautiful lift. We got that little salmon -y pink color out. Extensions are locked and loaded. We are now going orange. Things are happening so fast. We are now going a brighter orange and now we're going yellow and it's gonna be such a beautiful color. Oh. Oh. God. That is such a cool color. It's such an original color too. I don't, you don't see many people walking around with this like coral. Yeah, it's more like a corally pink slash it's quite coral. It's like a pastel coral. Super pretty. And the stylist did an amazing job. And this is why the world is the way the world is because people do these amazing hair colors and they go, give me that hair color. Give me that hair color. And they go, Whoa! and they just mesh them together. And it creates one beautiful cyclone, cyclops. I don't know what either of the things are. Of hair color. A beautifulness of hair colorness. And they just go, Rrrr! and their hair just turns a different color. That's how those colors are created. So I'm gonna tell my kids hair color is created. This color and this color, and boom and boom. That's it. Dude, uh-uh. <laughs> oh my God. In what galaxy on this earth are we doing that? And where are they getting these foils from? Dude, the organization on this is so good. I ooh, would not have the patience. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. Uh-uh, my kids can't hear you. They're too busy listening to kids pop. Like that type of moment, you know what I mean? The amount of color you have to use on this woman. Sorry. Did we just switch clients here? You're telling me I don't even get to see the outcome of that long hair? Rude. Miss Air Addiction, rude. We got bleach. We're bleaching. We're using cotton to separate the sections. We're doing the damn thing. She is lightening the hair perfectly. It looks amazing. Ooh, she's going for it. Ooh, she's doing one side gray and one side blonde. Now she got the pink out. She broke the pink out. Dude, I did the same color on my head. Remember that time? Oh, I love this color combination. The two-tone turquoise and the pink is brilliant. Mm, Cosmo Wanda, where? That looks so sick. Oh, it makes me miss my hair when it was that color. My hair was the exact same color. But then the next morning I was like, why did I do that to myself? Oh yeah, I did it for YouTube views because I apparently sell my soul for YouTube. Well, that was a long time ago. I, I don't really have a soul anymore, but that thing is long gone. Bye. Bye, soul. I'll see you later. YouTube got it. YouTube has it. All right, one last one. This is some major hair. She was about to break that damn comb with that girl's hair. Okay. Yes, please lighten those ends. That is a weird blonde going on. It's so much better. It's so much better. I wonder what color she's gonna do though. I hope she makes it like super blonde or like pink or like, oh, uh, I called it. Oh, it's like a rose gold. Yes. I don't really like rose gold very much. Okay. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh-huh. That was gorgeous. Let's watch it again. Really roughed up that cuticle there, girl. Oh, get the rose gold moment though. Ooh. Oh, she killed that one. Yes, and that's where we're gonna end that today. <laughs> Those were some sickening colors. Do you feel inspired to change your hair color? Well, you should. Go out and have fun with it, please. I just want everybody in the world to just experience having, you know, a different hair color at least once in their life. That's my dream. And, you know, a different haircut. And, you know, just work with your hair. Do its thing. But, like, give it love. Hair color and haircuts and hairstyling can do just wonders for your confidence. Try just treating yourself to a beautiful hairstyle and it'll just make you feel so good about yourself and so much more interesting and confident. And I know that I've found my confidence through hair and a lot of clients of mine and a lot of people I know have also done the same. You know, if it's done right and your hair is not completely damaged, you can always reverse color, bring it back to your natural if you don't like it, but at least, you know, you gave it a shot. Everybody just needs to live their hair color moment at least once in their life and just try it out. Hopefully it'll bring you a lot more confidence if you are lacking or, you know, it'll just show you a good time. But if you don't want to color your hair, I completely understand. Why don't you just buy some new hair products? at xmondohair.com. Is that too much of my own self-promotion in one video, twice in one video, Brad? You're really gonna push that twice? I'm 100% gonna push it twice in one video. Um, yeah, but if you guys, um, you know, keep up with your hair, make it look beautiful, make it last, make it healthy, make it fabulous, and give it the right nutrients to do so with all my fabulous, amazing hair products at xmonohair.com. Link below. And you can also follow xmonohair on Instagram. We'll be releasing new products all year in 2020. A lot of new products are in store. Dude, I'm over here just testing like product, product. Which one's next? Which one's next? Give me, let me keep testing. Let me do it. That's basically my life at this point. <laughs> 
And I love it. And of course, follow me on Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. We can stay connected. My Instagram is brymonnyc, and so is my Twitter, brymonnyc, where I once in a while just let off some steam. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. Take a leap of faith. Take a chance with your hair. Do something different. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.